This exclusive video shows two Bedford County deputies uncovering a cockfight with more than 100 spectators December 2nd. It's simply the torture of an animal for money and amusement, and it's just not acceptable. Humane Society spokesperson Leanne McCollum says Tennessee is one of only 10 states that punishes cockfighting as a misdemeanor instead of a felony. Even within the Tennessee code itself, cockfighting is seen as less of a crime. It clearly reads that animal fighting is a Class E felony, quote, except for any offense involving a cock, which is a Class A misdemeanor. The penalty for watching a cockfight is a $50 fine. McCollum says that's not enough to scare people away from the fights, especially if they stand to win hundreds of dollars betting on which rooster lives and which one dies. And we need some, some real laws with teeth that can actively discourage this kind of behavior. Some lawmakers have tried to strengthen those laws, but the latest effort died in subcommittee after running into opponents like Senator Frank Nicely, Republican from District 8. And these boys out here in the country have been fighting roosters all their life and doing the same thing Abraham Lincoln did on the White House lawn. It's, uh, it's not a bad enough crime to be a felony. Nicely says making cockfighting a felony would put a strain on already overcrowded prisons. If we start Locking up these country boys that are doing this, which is the way their daddy and their granddaddy and their great granddaddy. Who, who do you want to turn out? Child molesters, rapists, drug dealers? Bedford County Chief Deputy David Williams Jr. says legislation aside, the group behind this cockfight will probably just move somewhere else. Last year it was Marshall County said they were having one in their area. Of course, I'm sure this is the same group of individuals. They just moved from one, one county to the other.